Welcome to the Harper Classroom series of instructional videos. This video is on linear programming transportation with Excel part 2. In part 1 we saw the transportation LP where we shipped items from sources A and B to destinations 1, 2, and 3 to not exceed the capacity of our sources to meet the demand of our destination sites and minimize shipping cost. In this video we'll take the transportation LP and introduce modifications of increased capacity, increased demand, and then introduce dummy sources to solve a modified version of an infeasible LP. So let's bring in Excel. I've already typed in the headings in the problem, so first let's solve it. We have the sum of everything that's going to be shipped for A copy that down. Everything received. Destination 1. Copy that over. Then the total cost, which will equal the sum product of all the unit shipping costs, comma, times our decision variables. So let's bring in solver, data tab, solver. Our objective function is going to be the total cost. We want to minimize by changing our variable cells. Add constraints. Our capacity constraints, what is shipped is less than or equal to our capacity. Add everything that is received must be greater than or equal to the demand. Make unconstrained variables non-negative. Simplex method. Solve. Solver found a solution. So there's our solution. So now let's modify it. Let's start with our capacity. And what if our capacity was increased from 1,000 to 3,000? Let's see what happens. Again, go to Solver and solve it found a solution. But now when I look at my, the sum of my capacity, which is the sum of all my capacity, my capacity is 5,000. But then if I have the sum of my demand equals sum of my demand, we see that my demand is only 3,000. So now I have more capacity than I do demand. And so what will happen is I have slack, which will be my capacity minus what is shipped. Now I copy that down. We can see that warehouse A has a slack of 2,000 because it only shipped 1,000 but it has a capacity of 3,000. So when our capacity our aggregate capacity is greater than our aggregate demand, we'll have slack. So now, let's change that back to 1,000. And now let's change our demand. From 1,000, change that to 3,000. Now, we have a more aggregate demand than we do aggregate capacity. Let's see what happens. Let's go to Solver, Data, Solver. And now let's solve it. And what happens is, Solver could not find a feasible solution because you can't ship 3,000 and receive 5,000. There's no feasible way to do that. So, it's an infeasible LP. There is no solution. But then we can modify this. We have 3,000 that we want to ship, but we can't satisfy all 5,000. There's going to be 2,000 we cannot satisfy. So the way we could solve this is let's add a dummy warehouse in here. So we bring this down and add a dummy warehouse. So the cost will be zero and the capacity will, will be the difference, 2,000. So now our total capacity, which is the sum of all three warehouses including the dummy, 
our aggregate capacity equals our aggregate demand. But if we have a dummy warehouse on the input, we also have to have a dummy warehouse down here in the solution. So what is shipped has to be copied over. What is received has to include the dummy and copy that over. And our total cost has to include all nine values now, comma, all nine values of our decision variables. So now that we have everything set up, now we can go to, now we go to solver, data, solver. Now this time, let's reset all, start all over again. Our objective function now is going to be our total cost down here. We want to minimize by changing all nine variable cells. Subject to the constraints, where we have our capacity constraints, but what is shipped is less than or equal to our capacity. Add what is received is at least equal to, greater than or equal to our demand. Uh, end constraint variables, decision variables, simplex method, solve, and now we have a solution. Solver found a solution. So the solution to this modified problem shows the shipping schedule of the 3,000 we do have and the 2,000 we don't have where that's going to be shipped. And that information can be handled appropriately by the logistics manager. So to summarize, for the modification of increased capacity, when capacity exceeds demand, we'll have slack. In other words, some of the capacity will not be shipped. But with increased demand, when demand exceeds capacity, we have an infeasible LP, and there is no solution. But the dummy sources create a modified solution to the transportation LP to know what can be shipped, where it's going to be shipped, and what will not be shipped in the most efficient manner possible. So this ends the video, Linear Programming Transportation with Excel Part 2. I hope this helps. Thanks for watching.